Hello, this will be a brief overview of our LB rename command which allows you to rename multiple library items at once. In order for the command to work we need to have a, obviously a library selection so that's what we'll do first. We can have all kinds of selections, we can select uh, by clicking, holding down shift and clicking on a different item, just a, a selection within a folder. We can span a selection across folders as long as we exclude the actual folder item from the selection or we can limit the work of the command to whatever amount of items are nested within this specific folder by single clicking on the folder name. So let's try this first. Um, I will press Alt L to call the command and uh, we will rename all the items nested within this uh, headsbits folder. Uh, as you can see here there are three different modes to choose from. We can add prefix or suffix. We can trim characters. You can see when we choose the menu option this uh, middle section gets activated or we can go find and replace. There's another checkbox here which allows you to ignore the selection and work within the whole um, library basically. Anyway, for now let's just try adding some prefix to all the contents of the head bits. I'll just type pre underscore and we'll press apply. As you can see all these nested symbols were renamed. Also pay attention to the history panel just here to the right. There's only a single history entry which means that by pressing Control Z we can undo it with just one single action. Uh, that makes it very handy. Now let's try let's try a selection that's uh, across multiple folders. As I mentioned we need to filter out the actual folder entry if we would like to apply this uh, kind of selection that spans across folders. If I call the command this time, oh you can see it within the session, the current session, it will remember your last input. Let's, uh, let's trim some characters this time. So trimming from the left, say three characters, basically means that we'll delete three symbols from the left of all these um, symbol names. Apply and there we go. As you could see, it just worked as expected. Again, just a single history entry. I will undo this. Uh, and finally, let's do the find and replace. Let's go for RB. Let's ignore selection and let's let's replace it with uh, just something random like CCC. Apply. You could see all of the RBs became CCCs. So this pretty much covers all that the LB rename is capable of doing. It's a pretty powerful tool to keep your libraries neat and well organized. Enjoy and have a great day.